Curbs, footways and verges can be selected from the Road Design toolbar. This is very similar to Casuare Design using templates from libraries and may be used in addition to or instead of shoulders. This option is template based design and uses a library of different styles. Templates can be modified and saved. Template changes are allowed along the route but remember to leave gaps for the template joins. There is a library of standard templates. Use edit to change the styles. Select them graphically or using description or file name. Browse to select from the public, project or private style folders. Edit the style by selecting an element, change the dimensions required and hit next to save the style. After one length has been designed there are choices to be made. Is another length required using a different method or is another length required using the same method or exit. If two or more lengths have been designed, the choices are is another length required using the same method or join strings and select the horizontal and vertical join methods or exit. To add the curves, verges and footways, I'm selecting the icon from the road design toolbar. I'm going to select a reference string. I'm going to select the left shoulder on row 2 and I'm going to hit next. Here's the public library showing all the standard templates that are supplied with the, the software installation and I'm going to base my footway on the MFW curb and 1.8 meter footway so I select it from the list and I'm going to edit. I'm going to left click on the footway width to make it active and you can see the dimensions are now available for me to modify and we have got a 1.5 meter footpath width and it's got a 1 in 40 or 0.025 percent fall up from the top of curb. Again the up and down arrows uh, will raise or lower the, the cross fall. There is also remember a radio button to toggle to vertical offset. I'm going to select the top of curb. Now this is a 100 mil or 0.1 meter top of curb width and flat. So this is okay. I don't need to modify the values. I'm now going to select the curb face which needs to have a width of 0.1 sorry 0.025 and I need to toggle onto vertical offset to set that to 0.125 and again that is up rather than down. I am just going to quickly look at the string names the default values are acceptable in this situation so I'm just going to go next and I'm going to save the template using save as and I'm just going to overtype the 8 with a 5 I'm going to select the description and go right hand mouse button copy because I want to use this description as the file name I go next and I make sure that I save this in the project because I don't want to update my public folder with this training template if it was a template that I was going to use on many designs I would of course save it in the public folder I'm going to right click and paste and save the style this style already exists so I'm going to overwrite it I'm going to go next because I've already picked my reference it also has selected the left edge of carriageway which is the designs coming off the back of the shoulder so I go next it knows the full length of this reference string as in with the carriageway templates and the uh, shoulder design if I want to alter the templates along this road I would need to leave a gap 
between the templates, but I'm running for full length, so I hit next. There are the features that I've just created. Again, if I window in, we can see there's a top of curb, back of curb. If I window out, there's a back of footway as well. I'll just window across so we can see the, the junction area again. So I want to create another length, so I go next. I'm going to pick my reference string as the back of shoulder on the right hand side of this road. So it's ES2I. I'm going to go next. I'm going to browse to my new template. Now at the minute I'm looking at the public styles folder. I need to use this browse button to select the project and I'm going to go open. There's my style. Once I've selected the project style folder, I can switch between folders on the drop down at the bottom of the panel. I'm going to select my one and a half meter foot weight. Again, the right edge of carriageway is the back of shoulder. I go next. I design for the full length. I'm also now going to repeat this on the right hand side of road one. So I'm going to go next for another length. I pick the right shoulder on road one. I go next, pick the same template, go next. Again, it knows the right edge of carriageway is the shoulder edge. So I'm going to go next for full length, next. Now I'm going to repeat this for the left hand side of road one. So I'm going to go next. I pick the left shoulder, ES10. I go next. I pick the template. I go next. The left edge is the same, but I've got to pause here. We have the same issue that we had with the shoulders because I do need to pick an end point, which is the where the fillet hits the channel and the shoulder. So I just left click on there to put my end point and I go next. There's the shoulder design. And of course I now need to repeat this north of the junction. Because I've already set up the reference string and the template, I only need to hit back and I just need to pick the new start point, which is the start of that uh, shoulder there by the dumbbell. And my end point, I'm going to run all the way to the end of the design, so I just hit next. There's the shoulder and the footways have now been completed. And as before, I have choices to make. Do I want to create another length? Do I want to join and exit? Or in this case, cancel to exit without joining strings, as I do not require the footway to carry on across the junction area. So I hit cancel. Quitting the wizard and yet again I have a feature with a gap which spans the junction area.